Thank you. State Republicans are among many groups that are reacting to the governor's address. And joining us this morning is local assemblyman Vince Fong. Vince, thank you so much for getting up with us today. Uh, thanks for having me. First of all, the governor coming out and rejecting the idea of reversing any policies that would allow more oil production in California. Um, you weren't too surprised at that. Well, the governor is making a choice now to make our state more dependent on foreign sources of oil. There's, there's no question about that. By not allowing for more domestic oil and energy production, that's what he's doing. He has, over the last four years, halted energy production in California. And now with the war in Ukraine, we are seeing spike in gas prices. The governor has to ask himself, where does he want our energy to come from that powers our state? You know, during his speech, he also said in January that we proposed to pause the gas tax increase. Has that happened? Well, no, his proposal is to pause the increase. Now, you know, Californians need relief now. They need as much relief as possible. I would I say let's suspend the gas tax entirely and backfill it with, with the, the budget surplus uh, that is ma now materializing. Um, you know, the governor likes to make political headlines, but he doesn't offer a lot of details, and that's very frustrating. Now, here's another one. He said he'd be working with, quote, legislative leadership, uh, we're assuming with members of his party, to submit a proposal to put money back in the pockets of Californians to address rising gas prices. In the past, for those situations, that type of money that's, that, you know, returning some of that tax has been pretty minimal. Do you see that as any type of solution? Well, it's a temporary one at best. I mean, we need to suspend the gas tax entirely if we can to provide relief to our small businesses, uh, to our California motorists, those who, who drive every single day to work and school. But we also need to look at permanent tax relief. You know, there's an affordability crisis. Uh, you know, certainly the governor finally is acknowledging it, but he is not admitting the fact that his policies are the ones that are causing um, everything to be more expensive in California. And, and so we need to look at permanent solutions, long-term solutions uh, that will really provide permanent tax relief uh, for California families. You know, at the start of the, the piece we just ran from the governor's address, he uh, threw in the words petro dictators. Now, we're just wondering, he meant that here in California, not in Venezuela, where we are now looking at possibility of getting some gas. Well, that's the, that's the issue. Because of the policies that, have come, that are coming out of the Newsom administration, he is making California more dependent on foreign sources of energy. Uh, right now, California uh, is en an energy island. I don't think many, uh, many of your viewers realize that we cannot uh, get uh, energy from other states. So if, if other states of, 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 of around the union uh, decide to increase production, it doesn't mean that California gets more energy. We have to produce it ourselves in California. And so we need California energy production for Californians from Californians. All right, very good. Assemblyman Vince Fong joining us this morning with some insight from the Republican response. We thank you for your time. Thanks for having me.